All right, boys, today I'm going to take you on a grand tour through this update's balance changes, the skins, the gear rework, and even more. But really quick, I'm giving away five free Grom skins, and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel, like the video, watch this video, and comment your Twitter handle in the comment section, and if you win, I'll send you a DM on Twitter. Starting off with the balance changes. First, we have Meg, who got a 100 health increase when she's not in her mech, so maybe she won't die as easily. And then we have Barley, who's getting a 60 damage buff because he didn't do enough damage before. Next up is Eve, who got a 30 damage increase for each projectile that lands, so all the eggs should do 30 more damage. And for the final one on the buffs list, we have Gus, and they actually made him scale differently when you're leveling him up. So normally, at either level 1 or even level 11, his shield and his healing would have the exact same effect, but now they're changing it so then his shield and his healing are weaker at level 1 and stronger than before at level 11. So if you have him maxed out, then it's a buff, and if you have him not maxed out, then it's a nerf. But they're also giving him two more buffs. They're making his super projectile speed a bit faster so then he can hit your teammates easier. And his super can go through walls. Another way to make it easier to reach your teammates with the super. Now on to the list of nerfs. First we have Poco the Loco. His damage was decreased by 40 because he did way too much damage before. And Sam surprisingly didn't get that big of a nerf. His healing star power is being decreased from 30% to 20% but I still think he shouldn't be able to spam it like he can. And if Finally, on the list of nerfs, Bees and Stu's totem gadgets both have health decay over time, which is to make them consistent because most of the other totem gadgets also have this decay. And that's going to do it for the balance changes. Penny's new skin is Trash Panda Penny, which is a tier 1 skin for the Brawl Pass, and in-game, it looks like she shoots the hand that she's holding in her normal animation, and for her super, instead of seeing the raccoon, you actually see 90% of a trash can and 10% of a raccoon. Next, we have Inspector Colette, and this is the Power League skin, meaning you can get it for free, and this skin looks awesome. I can't really tell what she's shooting, but visually, I think this might be one of her best skins, and in my opinion, this is the Halloween skin of the update, and the fact that you can get it for free is kinda insane. Pizza Oven Ash is another skin that you can also get for free by playing Club League, and obviously purchasing it with club coins. This one looks really weird, but also really cool at the same time. With his attacks, it looks like he splatters grease all over the ground, and his super is a bunch of little sentient pizza slices that are out for your blood. Pretty good skin. Zombrock is a skin which you can either win from a challenge or you can get it for only 29 gems. So another potentially free skin. I'm assuming the price is so low because he doesn't actually have any special visuals or animations in game. Still though, 29 gems or free is really good for a skin like this. Now we have Frank and Grom, which I am giving five away for free to people who subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment their Twitter handle. Otherwise, it's only 149 gems. His main attacks look like he's throwing monstrous cans but for his super, he throws his backpack and it explodes into this giant squid monster, which in my opinion looks really cool. I think that alone makes the skin completely worth it. G-Force Janet is a new skin that costs 29 gems, but again, I think this one is super worth it for only being 29 gems. That being said though, much like any other low cost skin, the animations in this one haven't been changed at all from my knowledge. Despite that, I actually prefer this one over all of her other skins because I personally like the color scheme of it. First Blob Squeak is going to cost 79 gems, and this one turns him into a green battle goo thing. In game, he looks completely different than his base model, maybe because he actually has hair now. It might be hard to tell, but his main attacks throw grenades, and his super throws a bunch of thinner, sticky bombs, both of which I think look really awesome, and for 79 gems, again, this skin, in my opinion, is really worth it. Rage Quit Tara is another skin that you can potentially get for free from the Brawl Stars World Finals, or you can get it next year for 149 gems. But again, potentially for free. Her attacks look like she's throwing out a bunch of phones, and uh, I hope they have screen protectors because, geez woman, you need to relax. And for her super, she wastes more money by throwing her pristine Rolex onto the ground that opens up into a portal of death. Omega Box Daryl is potentially another free skin, making that possibly the fifth free skin of this update. His main attack shoots out a bunch of blue and green gems, and his super looks normal besides the fact that he gets a shield that looks absolutely insane compared to to normal, in my opinion. I think that that change alone makes this skin better than all of his other skins. Plus, I'm pretty sure this skin is like a little teaser that we're gonna get a new box in the future, which is obviously really exciting. And finally, that is gonna do it for all the skins. 
Now let's talk about everything regarding the gear rework. Everyone will get 2.25 coins for every one scrap that they had on their account. And every gear token you have ever had will be converted to 217.5 coins. For people with maxed out accounts, you're gonna be rich. Gears can be purchased for coins as long as your brawler is level 10 or 11. Super rare gears cost 1,000. These gears are available to every brawler in the game. Epic gears cost 1,500 coins. These gears are available to specific amounts of brawlers usually about 10 brawlers have an epic gear and mythic gears cost 2000 coins which are only available to one brawler each at least for now first of all the new gears we have the reload speed gear which gives a 20 percent reload speed increase i thought this was going to be five percent but no it's 20. this will be available on bell eve lola Bo, brock colt 8-bit Amber, Rico, and Griff. In other words, a bunch of brawlers that could really benefit from this. The supercharge gear is another epic gear which increases a brawler's supercharge rate by 10%, and this one will be available on Ash, Lou, Otis, Bull, Nani, Bonnie, Edgar, Sprout, El Primo, and Jackie. Again, a lot of brawlers that could really benefit from this, and I just wish that Crow was on that list. Next, we have Talk to the Hand, which is a mythic gear that is specifically for Gene, which increases his super range by one tile. And finally, we have, uh, Thick Head. This is a mythic gear on Tick, which increases his super's health by 1,000. That is a thick head. Now checking out the reload gear for comparison, here is Colt reloading all of his ammo before equipping the gear, and here is Colt reloading all of his ammo after equipping it. 20% faster. Moving on to the supercharge rate, here is Edgar charging his super before equipping the gear, and here is Edgar charging his super after equipping it. 10% faster. So while I show you guys a new environment, I just want to say my opinion on the new update, like what I think about it, how I might want to rate it, and overall, while this update doesn't have my most favorite skins or my favorite balance changes or whatever, I love this update for the simple fact that they finally fixed gears and the fact that gears in future updates have so much potential to actually add something amazing to the game. You all know that for the first, what, like a year that gears were in this game, they were just something that everybody looked at with like a sense of, is this really Really gonna go anywhere but now that everything's been changed they're able to add more gears they're already adding more gears and this just screams that in future updates they're gonna add so many new gears at least i hope because now they have potential to add one gear for each specific brawler to change something about their stats and I love that. I also really like how they're balancing gears based on who it might fit on, so not every gear is going to be on every character. Like, there's reload gear that fits on certain characters, there's the supercharge rate gear that might be broken on some characters, so they don't put it on the characters that it might be broken on. And overall, this update, in my opinion, is marking a new part of Brawl Stars that is finally going to have an incline, because ever since Gears came out, you all know this, there's been a gradual decline in people playing the game, in people watching the game, and the main reason for that is uh, future updates couldn't really be unique nothing too crazy was being added there would be a brawler maybe a temporary game mode maybe a permanent game mode but besides that it's stuff that we've seen in basically every single update so it's it's nothing groundbreaking you know it's nothing crazy that's going to keep you invested for a really long time and the reason for that is because uh and the reason for that is because gears were added but it's not like they would want to go and add another entire ability so they were kind of relying on gears to be that thing that carried over new interest for a long time but gears literally could not do that but now they can so now that gears are how they should have been at the beginning i think it's gonna be great so if i were to rate this update from 0 to 10 i would personally rate it 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 just for the fact that it is finally marking a point in brawl stars where we can have new content consistently like actual brand new ability type content to the game that we haven't seen in a really long time and i'm excited so if you want to then feel free to let me know what you think about the update how you might rate it and with that being said i'll see you later and have a good night guys